For ACUSports.com, I'm Seth Wilson here with head coach Joe Golding of the ACU men's basketball team as they have a big week coming up. But first, coach, uh, let's look at last night's game uh, against Lipscomb out there in Nashville. How was that different uh, than the first time around here at Moody? You know what, I think it was, um, you know, uh, two good teams going out and competing and both games came down to you know, the last couple minutes. Um, and so that's always exciting. It was good to renew a rivalry against Lipscomb. I've learned so much in the past month about the history between uh, us and Lipscomb and, and on the uh, on the basketball court. Uh, so it was a neat uh, to renew some of that stuff and hear some old stories. I know some of our former alumni really enjoyed us uh, playing. Um, obviously, Casey's got a great team at Lipscomb. Uh, they got the better half of us both times this year. You got to give them credit. They're very well coached. Uh, that they, they um, they do things the right way, and um, you know they, they uh, obviously um, you know uh, got us both times. So um, on, on our end, as far as last night, I was proud of our guys. I thought our guys uh, we we didn't play a clean game. Uh, we turned the ball over way too much. We made a ton of mistakes, but we played hard and we gave ourselves a chance to win. Uh, we got in foul trouble early, um, and, and we played a bunch of different lines. It was neat for me. We have a lot of depth this year, Seth. Uh -huh. We have a lot of guys we can play, and sometimes guys don't get those opportunities because we'll have a group in the game that's playing really well. We'll stick with that group. Um, but the good thing for, as a head coach is you know you can go deep in the bench, and those guys can bring energy and passion and, and, and can change the game. And I thought that happened last night. I thought there was a lot of examples of guys that haven't got extended minutes uh, necessarily early in the year that came in and really changed the game uh, and played really well. So that was exciting for me to see. And uh, now you have a quick turnaround. You play again tomorrow night. Uh, you got in yesterday late. Uh, so how do you take practice today and then uh, get ready for Arlington Baptist tomorrow night? Yeah, it's a quick turnaround. Obviously, we just got through practicing today. Um, and then uh, we'll go lift. Um, and then we'll come back and turn the page to Arlington Baptist and get ready for them. Uh, we got to respect every opponent. Uh, every game counts the same. Um, and so we got to be ready to go tomorrow night and turn the page. Um, we don't like losing. The one good thing we have, I don't think we've lost twice in a row yet this year. So it's a, it's a chance to, to get off the, the skid and get back to winning a basketball game and get to eight and four, um, which is the most wins we've ever had in non-conference. Um, and so you know we've done some good things, but it can't change. We got to get back to us. Um, we got to play better tomorrow night than we did at Lipscomb and continue to trust the process uh, and move forward. You know, and so uh, we're playing Arlington Baptist, yes, but we're also playing against ourselves. We got to get back to us. We got to can't turn the ball over. Uh -huh. We got to get back to sharing the basketball. Got to get back to taking good shots. Got to get back to better spacing offense. Uh, defensively, we got to get back to uh, maintaining some of that toughness and playing hard, uh, but just play a little smarter. And does that help uh, coming up on this game where it's maybe not an opponent people know of, of having some veteran guys in that locker room to say, hey, we've We've still got to perform tomorrow night. Yeah, I think those guys know that, and, and, and those guys understand the process. They've been around now. This is their third year through it. Um, they understand these games count the same, and we got to respect our opponents. There's plenty of examples we give our guys across the country when guys aren't ready to play, and teams like this uh, sneak up on and beat them, and we don't want that to happen to us. So we got to be prepared. you got to respect the game. you got to play the game the right way. Um, and uh, you know we're coming off a loss, mm -hmm. so we got a, you know we had a good practice today for the travel yesterday and playing, and uh, what we need a good lift, we need a good meal tonight, and we need to come back tomorrow and have a good shoot around and be ready to go. Obviously, uh, a lot of your focus is on tomorrow night, but then you have a big game on Friday going up to Lubbock to take on Texas Tech. A lot of familiarity there with Coach Beard. Uh, just talk about the excitement of, of going up there and taking on the Red Raiders. Yeah, first and foremost is Arlington Baptist. You know that. You know we can't think ahead. I haven't seen Tech. I, I've watched them a couple times on TV. Not as a, um, you know, not looking at him through a right. coach's lens. Right. Looking at him as a, as a, um, you know, rooting for my friends. I got a lot of friends on their staff, and obviously Coach Beard and I uh, have a long relationship that's been well detailed and and so and documented. And um, so I'm rooting for them all the time. Um, to, to do well. So I've seen them a couple of times on TV. Obviously, with our schedule, their schedule, it's hard to, to catch up. Um, you know, I'll lock into them on uh, Wednesday morning okay. um, when, when we get ready to go. But I, it, it's uh, obviously, it's it's um, it's great to be able to play Texas Tech. We're very thankful for Chris Beard and the University of Tech uh, and their basketball program to give us the opportunity to come play. Um, it's a great game for us. It's regionally located. We can get there quick. And uh, I know our guys will be excited, um, you know, to be able to play in a Big 12 arena, to play uh -huh. against a Power 5 team and a team right now that's obviously, I think, ranked in the top 25. Um, and so um, it, I, I know our guys will be excited. It's a great way to end Christmas uh, and get ready for conference play. Well, Coach, uh, we appreciate the time and good luck tomorrow against Arlington Baptist. A reminder, that game is here at Moody Coliseum tomorrow night. Tip off at 7 o'clock as the Wildcats take on Arlington Baptist. For head coach Joe Golding, I'm Seth Wilson for ACU Sports.